guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here at Texas Motor Speedway for a very special event called the Auto Roundup. And good news that we're at a racetrack because I have a car that really is meant for the track. This is a 2021 Lexus RCF Fuji Speedway Edition. But before we get into this V8 powered real wheel drive enthusiast vehicle, let's talk about what's going on here, Lexus. This brand that's been around since 1989, premium brand of Toyota, refuses to stop developing and building those naturally aspirated V8 engine powered vehicles. Now this Fuji Speedway Edition is a special edition of sorts. It's one of just 60 that's being built. And if you like the RCF, which is their premium level of taking the RC platform, because remember you could get the RC 350, RCF taking it to that V8 next level, this one multiplies it by 200. With this car, you're gonna get all of that great engineering that Lexus has been doing with their race development in the IMSA WeatherTech series, in that GTD competition class where they take the RCFs and race them in all sorts of endurance races and sprint races, all that is gonna spill over into this Fuji Speedway Edition. Now, there's a lot of competition when it comes at this particular price point, but what I wanna find out, is this Fuji Speedway Edition RCF, is this the one that you should be buying because it's meant perfectly for the track and for the street and has such a unique look. Let's go ahead, dive in and find out with this 2021 model. Right off the bat, you're gonna be able to get this in two separate colors. If you don't like the gray, the metallic gray, you could also get it in that satin white finish, that Arctic white finish. Now, at the front of the business, you're gonna see that extra width that's coming from the styling. We're gonna get that triple LED beam headlights, really gonna give us a nice bright light. And I love the way Lexus has taken their signature daytime running lamps, of course, LED. Everything is infused into that headlight housing. Now, as we drop down, functionality is the name of the game. Love the way they have these functional corner vents, nice metallic gunmetal gray finish. And then you're gonna get also that F word. No, not that F word, get your mind out of the gutter. A functional front lip splitter. So this is full carbon fiber. Love the way it kind of curves to the edge to channel that air. This is stuff, like I said, they took from their race car that they race in the IMSA WeatherTech series and they brought it to the street for enthusiasts like you and I. As we come across the front section, that spindle waterfall grill really fits the front end of the RCF to a T, especially this Fuji Speedway Edition. I love the way they went black chrome around that perimeter of the grill and the way it curves down with that Lexus logo, all the way down functionality, bottom, middle, and top. And then you can see that beautiful carbon fiber from one side to the other. Speaking of carbon fiber, get ready for this. Going onto the hood, this is a full carbon fiber hood. We have our functional heat extractor, also featured in that metallic gunmetal gray finish, but this is obviously gonna cut weight because this vehicle is about being lighter, but it also gives it that beautiful style of that wonderful carbon fiber that you would find once upon a time only on race cars are now on the street cars. And the even better news is that there's a fire breathing five liter V8 underneath that hood. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire on our Fuji Speedway Edition. So you're gonna get these specially designed 19 inch wheels. It's a forged aluminum wheel, multi-spoke design. I, like, I love the flat black, the way they do a machined aluminum outer edge. Now for 2021, they actually dropped the weight of these wheels compared to the previous track edition by kind of taking some extra aluminum out of each of the individual spoke areas. That's gonna drop the weight of this wheel. Remember, forged aluminum, stronger wheel, but is also less rotating mass, which is gonna quicken up our steering. When you go Fuji Speedway, you're gonna get these beautiful six piston Brembo calipers with the F logo there. You can see how they have the carbon ceramic badging. And then look at the size of those rotors. You're looking about a 15 inch rotor, two pieces, two piece rotor to cut down on that heat. And that is also race car technology that was once only available 
on an actual Formula One car. Now, if you're wondering, Joe, what's the size of the wheel up front and tire? You're looking at 255 on the width, 35 series sidewall, and they're wrapped in those sticky but also durable Pilot Sport 4S tires. Now, as we go down the side of the vehicle, one of my favorite parts is the fender vent. I'm gonna have Lori kind of swing around and showcase how that fender vent extends off of that flared fender that is a functional piece. You got your F badging there with the signature blue. That dark blue is part of the whole performance series from Lexus. The one thing I am gonna zonk is there is gloss black. It would have been nice to have carbon fiber mirrors and there's a little bit of shiny chrome. So those are two places on the mirrors that I'm gonna have to zonk, but I do love the shape and the style. They went with a nice gloss black on the top, or I should say blacked out chrome on the top, flat black on the bottom. Look at the arrow work, that carbon fiber sill extension, the way they carve this back portion out, just like you carve a pumpkin to turn it into a jack lantern. I'm gonna have Lori really kind of showcase as you come down the side of the vehicle with that beautiful area, how it's carved out. And then when we look at the rears, rears you're gonna get a little bit extra width. So you're looking at 275, still a 19 inch wheel, 275 in the width. Like I said, they made them lighter. And another thing is you're getting the same size rotor, all four corners to give you optimum braking capability in this RCF Fuji Speedway Edition. Just love the style of this wheel, flat black. That's how it's supposed to, that's how it's supposed to work. When you come around to the back side of the business, I hope you like flared fenders because you're gonna get a nice two-step above the wheel arch. And then as we kind of drop back, you can see how they take that edge and bring it all the way. There is a non-functional vent here, so I am gonna zonk that, but I do love the way you're getting that extra width. Titanium, titanium exhaust on a production vehicle. When you go with the RCF, you're getting that staggered setup that signifies that this is a true F performance vehicle, the way they did the LED brake lights, wait your turn signals, and a little bit of a smoked finish on those taillight housings. And then of course, to wrap it out back, we have that carbon fiber rear wing. Because remember, we went carbon fiber, carbon fiber front splitter, carbon fiber roof. Don't forget that carbon fiber roof that cuts about eight pounds of weight off the top of this vehicle, lowering the center of gravity. And this is a fully functional, carbon fiber rear wing to give us downforce. It's that pedestal style mounted right to the trunk. And then as we kind of continue our way down, RCF badging. And then of course, if we started with carbon fiber, we got to finish with carbon fiber. You have a carbon fiber rear diffuser, nice, low, wide. I can't wait to take this onto the track, but why don't we pop the hood and check out that fire breathing V8 I told you about. All right, guys, we got that sexy carbon fiber hood up. You do have hood struts. Underneath that hood is that fire-breathing 5-liter V8. Love the way they brace. You can see the structural bracing that they do at the back of the firewall. There is a large engine cover, but the great news is that is the real deal. Bright blue intake plenum of that 5-liter V8. I love the F badging that they have under there. What are we looking at? You're looking at, like I said, 5-liter naturally aspirated V8, 472 horsepower, 395 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to an eight-speed automatic, and it would be such a dreamy experience to have a manual transmission in this vehicle. But you know what? Zero to 60 in about 3.7 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna go by at 12.7 seconds at 113 miles an hour. Top speed is 170 miles an hour. Now, if you care about MPGs, here they are, 16 in the city, 24 on the highway, and the vehicle weighs 4,011 pounds. And like I mentioned, the two colors, cloudburst gray and Arctic blast satin. And this is, like I said, one of just 60. You do have your adaptive dampers, all four corners. When you go through the different drive modes, you can see the wires leading to those shock absorber mounts up top here. And that is gonna give you that hopefully perfect amount of compression and rebound damping to give you that feel that you want. But why don't we go ahead? This thing has a titanium exhaust. Let's fire it up and hear what that naturally aspirated V8 sounds like.
right, guys, we're in this RCF Fuji Speedway Edition, honoring such an amazing facility over in Japan. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been seriously looking at BMW M4s all day. The grills have grown on me. The Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio twin turbo power. I love that thing. But you know what? I'm with you, Joe. I like V8 power too, especially naturally aspirated V8 power. What's the price of this thing? MSRP for the way that this one is optioned and it's pretty much fully loaded, you're looking at $101,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Absolutely love the fit and finish of a Lexus, especially the way they did the two-tone. You have the soft material up top, which is dark black, then they bring in some silver, and then you're gonna get a mixture of red leather material and that Alcantara, and you're getting red carbon fiber there. That red back carbon fiber around the switch gear, very, very sexy. The Alcantara, as you go towards the armrest, is actually quite soft and very comfortable and looks fantastic. And the even better news is, is that you have enough room in there for two race winning Twinkies in the door pocket. This does have the optional Mark Levinson sound system, of course, with it being fully loaded. But going from the tasteful door panel to the dash, this is where I know that some people are gonna put their own zonks. And tell me in the comment section how you feel about this. You do have soft touch material. I love the silver. The older design, I'm still fine with. I, I, I have no issues with this. The carbon fiber really brings it to the next level, ties it all in. Now you are gonna get that 10.3 inch infotainment system screen with Apple CarPlay, your navigation. Is it a touch screen? No, we've already gone over this. We've already crossed that bridge. You could touch it, but it doesn't do anything. I do like the way it's sunken in nicely. It's not just protruding out, say like, in the Audi RS5 um, or one of those other examples. So that they do have that going for it. The backup camera, it's single. There's no 360 um, and it's on the grainy side. But you know what? This is not about backing up. This is about going forward and we're gonna be doing that on the track very soon. I love the way they have the start stop button prominently display, uh, displayed, of course, the analog Lexus clock with some carbon fiber in there. Like I said, this doesn't bother me. I actually still like this style. This flat black is definitely showing its age, but you do get the dual climate. I love the two-piece color material that they have on the edges there. Real easy to use. You do get a CD player, so you can take it out on the track and listen to Sammy Hagar. You can't drive 55? Take it to the track because you could definitely go more than 55 miles an hour in this vehicle. We have a nice little place here for some Jolly Ranchers, maybe apple, grape, maybe a wild cherry. You do have that shift knob with the red stitching, perforated leather. This is gonna control that eight speed automatic. I love the way they carry the red onto the shift boot. We do have a mode selector, and I'll show you that when you come over to the business end. Launch control, shut the trash control off. That's what we're gonna be doing. And then yes, you do have that pesky Lexus trackpad system, not the best. It's great when you're sitting still, it's just not great when you're moving, but let's move on from that. Two cup holders, there's your Lexus key fob, simple. I do like the silver on the side. And then more Alcantara with the leather, open that up. That's where easily you could put, I would say one trophy, one small trophy from a track day with a 12 volt, two USBs and an aux jack in there. Close it up, look at these seats. If there's anything where you could say, hey, a seat is sexy, but it also looks hashtag race car, this is it. You got the F badge, love the aluminum finish in the top portion, the Alcantara all the way down, the red, the bolstering, full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. The only zonk is they're not ventilated. No ventilated seats, but you know what? What are you gonna do? Love the headliner, the way you have that nice, smooth material. Plenty of room to get your helmet on for your track day. But why don't you come over here? I'm telling you, I'm six feet tall. I feel snug as a bug in a race car rug. Love these seats. I could just, I want to take this car home, to be honest with you. But uh, come over to the business end. I want to show you behind the wheel of this RCF Fuji Speedway Edition. All right, guys, come into my RCF Fuji Speedway Edition. Oh, did I say mine? 
I mean Lexus's, this is theirs here at this event, but welcoming you, you're gonna get that nice Lexus badging, the aluminum sill plate looking very classy, the fit and finish is second to none. Look at the foot box, nice massive dead pedal, that's aluminum, brake and throttle, and we're gonna be going on throttle. You do have your seat controls, easy to get to, that lower lumbar, that feels good. Steering wheel, you know, it is dated, and it's not a flat bottom, which I know a lot of you like, but they do have the thickness down perfect. The stitching, the material, especially with the red and that F badging there, staring at you in the face, letting you know that you did it right. You do have paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that eight-speed automatic, and they're a really, really good size. Manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel, and then what you're gonna get is that beautiful digital display in the center with the different modes, watch this. When you go into different modes, we got Sport Plus. We could knock it down into Eco. I don't know why you'd wanna do that mode, but it's there for you. And then we could go back to Sport. I love the way the tack changes as you go into the different modes. That's normal. And then the great news is you even have information on the left side that you could scroll through. I'm gonna leave it on gear uh, position indicator. I really like that setup. And when you put in a drive, which the door is open, there's your gear positions there for the eight different gears. Put it back in the park. But you know what? This thing is one bad mamma jamma. You do get rear seats, which I am actually gonna zonk because in a track worthy vehicle, they should dump those. We're not getting in them. If you wanna see them, they're in other RCF reviews on Rady's Rides. But let's get to the trunk, see what kind of junk we could throw in there because I'm ready to go on throttle, on track in this Fuji Speedway Edition. All right, guys. One of the great news about this vehicle is that not only do you have the four seats on the interior, you also have trunk space, usable trunk space. So just like your other RC trim levels, the RCF, the RC350, what are we looking at? We're looking at a nice large trunk opening inside there. When it comes to size, you're looking at 10 cubic feet of space, which is gonna make this a nice usable vehicle. You could daily drive this with no problems whatsoever. But you know what? Talk is cheap, and I'm ready. If you're ready, let's take this RCF Fuji Speedway Edition and go on Texas Motor Speedway. All right, guys, we're in the RCF Track Edition, putting it in manual shift mode. I have it in Sport Plus, of course. We're gonna take it through the twisty bits on this infill road section, but if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's shut the trucks to control off just for fun. Here we go, on throttle, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Love that V8 sound. On the brakes, those carbon ceramic rotors. Nice downshift. Here we go. Feeling good. Nice. On the brakes. Downshifting. Really feels good. The feedback, the brake pedal sensation, and what this car does to you and does for you is phenomenal. Super smooth through the chicane. Nice, on the brakes. The brakes are relentless, man. They slow this thing down so well. Here we go. Yeah! Woo! Over the curving a little bit, using up all the track space. The brakes feel so good, so good. Front end feedback is excellent. That V8! Woo! Nice! Downshift so smooth from that eight speed. I'm loving this thing. Woo! <laughs> yeah! 
It's so easy that it changes direction so fast. So fast. Look at that, wow. Just so glad to be able to share this with you guys. Great to have you here. And this car is phenomenal with a capital PH. Capital PH, wow. Thanks, man. There we go. Woohoo! Feels good. Look at this. Nice. <laughs> Chicane. The grip from the tires, the brakes, everything is just absolutely mind blowing. You can put this car anywhere and it does it so well. Look at this. Rolling on throttle, rolling on throttle. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Love this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a downshift here, try second coming out of the corner so I get a little bit more speed out of her. So fantastic. So glad to share with you guys. You guys are awesome. This car is awesome. <sighs> It'd be interesting to see it with a manual transmission for sure. Really interesting. But we're going to get back. All right, guys, it's been one amazing day here at Texas Motor Speedway. I definitely got to thank Paul, Zach, Ryan, the whole crew at Lexus, and everybody else here who's helped organize this auto roundup, getting us access to this RCF Fuji Speedway Edition. I don't know, if you're looking for something really unique, naturally aspirated V8 power, and you don't wanna go M3, you don't wanna go M4, you don't even maybe even wanna go Alfa Romeo, this Lexus RCF Fuji Speedway Edition checks off so many enthusiast boxes it really is one that you want to put on your horizon if you're looking for a performance vehicle like this but if you want to keep seeing these on Rady's rides and i i'm sure you do so that's a rhetorical question leave a comment in the comment section if you're new and you're on your way out hit that subscribe button i promise you it's worthwhile come back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the Rady's rides family if you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel two ways to do it click the first link become a Radies Rise Patreon member. Click that second link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. I gotta give it up to the queen of the Texas Motor Speedway. She's holding down the fort and just smoke checking all the other videographers. Lori, you're doing such a killer job. Show her some love in the comment section. And just like always guys, I'll see you on the next ride.